Sleeper Sport, what's up everybody? Boys and girls, how y'all doing, how y'all doing? All right, so I had to go ahead and get everything set up. We outside again, man. We about to continue trying to um, sandblast on the bottom of this car. Um, long story short, because I don't want to make this too long. I'm not going to worry about the rear end because eventually I'm going to take the rear end off swap it out then i'll clean it up and do all that but right now we're just gonna work on the frame knock that out and uh try to just finish this up in this episode right here it's hot outside but we got a breeze so we're gonna make this happen so let me show y'all what we got everything already set up took the back wheels off got the pressure washer set up got the sand so this is what i'm talking about I'm hitting all on the frame, hit all that. I'm gonna hit this, but we're not gonna detail. It. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna spray, but we're not gonna detail because I'm more worried about hitting the frame, getting all up under there in the back, and um, get a majority of what I can and get up on the rails. That's what I'm really focused on the rails and um, the sides and stuff. And since I don't have to get underneath the car as much from this side we should have better results so go ahead and hit on this side yeah see spray on that frame get on that and go down the rails that's what we're doing for the day so let me go ahead and get this started i ain't trying to waste no time so all right people i already gotta stop my sand is moist. Moist sand clogs the sand blaster. Oh man, so I gotta uh, let the sand dry out. Who knows how long it's gonna take. So, yeah, we'll be back. Sleeper Sport family, we back, day two. About to go ahead and knock this out. We got some dryer sand, so we're about to go ahead and get the job started. Like I told y'all yesterday, we're just gonna hit the wheel wells, hit down the side of the frames. <sighs> and uh, we're just gonna get this going.
I'm gonna go ahead and knock this side out because the battery get low so I can finish up the video correctly. So let me go ahead and hit this and I'll be back. All right, everybody, here go the results. Got all that out of there. Sprayed the extra loose rust off the frame. I went ahead and hit the rear end, got all that loose stuff, loose rust and grime off the rear end. So when I'm ready to work on that, you know, nobody trying to touch all the extra old dirty stuff anyway. So you see how I got that cleaned up, that sandblaster go crazy. Got all that old grime and that old undercoating off majority of what I could get off, which was a lot, as y'all can see. Got all up in, the, in behind there, too. So we'll go on this side. Got all that undercoating out of there. Sprayed the fuel lines, cleaned those up all the way down. Got this side of the rear end done, sprayed all that, got as much rust and dirt. Like I wasn't trying to go crazy on it, but I needed to get some dirt off of it. Yep. And I went off the sides, like I said. So all that loose rust off. I'm gonna let this dry out. Probably gonna take a day. <sighs> that will be good. Got all the sand and stuff on my face. But for today, that's all we got. Went ahead and got the um, undercoating finished, getting it off the bottom of the car. Um, like I said, it's probably gonna take a day. I'm gonna come back and spray this, and um, this will be done. So getting all the undercoating off the bottom of the car with the sandblaster was a success. Um, yeah, I do recommend y'all try it if you have the ability, which everybody do. Just got out of time. But other than that, everything cool, man. Hope everybody having a great one. Please like, share, subscribe. I normally don't say this, but I definitely need these subscribers. I'm getting, a, getting some good, decent views. I definitely appreciate the views, but man, hey, subscribe. Holla at me. Keep up with me. And I appreciate it. Everybody have a good one. Everybody have a great one. Sleeper Sport family, we out.